So we have a fundamentally flawed federal investigation. We have a dead Border Patrol agent. We have hundreds of dead Mexican citizens, thousands of weapons with America's fingerprints on both sides of the border unaccounted for, and a demonstrably false letter being written to a committee of Congress, and yet we're being asked for more time. Please wait. Give it more time. It's been over a year, Mr. Chairman. Our fellow citizens, the ones we're supposed to work for, when they get a jury summons, do you think they have a choice on whether or not to comply? When they get a subpoena from a law enforcement agency, do you think our fellow citizens get to offer an extraordinary accommodation in lieu of providing the documents? Either Congress has the authority to send a subpoena and require full compliance, or what we have been doing for the past 12 months is a fool's errand. Uh huh. Well, you all know the scandal. The scandal is the refusal on the part of the President of the United States of America to cooperate with a governmental oversight committee uh, and saying that, um, well, executive privilege applies. What's strange, though, is that he's asserting executive privilege over documents he said he never saw. So what is he lying about? The real question to you, the audience, is this. Do you actually know what Fast and Furious is? Do you actually know what Obama and Holder are hiding? Do you actually know how many hundreds of people died as a result of them smuggling guns to Mexico? Do you actually know why they sent uh, significant automatic weapons to violent drug cartels in Mexico? Do you have any idea why they did this? You probably do in some cases, but most of you don't. You may have heard Fast and Furious and put it aside. You may have heard about guns to Mexico and put it aside. Big deal. What you don't know is this is a big deal. What you don't know is this is a criminal conspiracy at the highest reaches of government. It would bring down a government in a real democracy. However, since we do not live in a real democracy, it's unlikely this will go very far. However, I should inform you that my final chapter, Tyranny of the Anti-Justice Department, in Trickle-Down Tyranny, explains all of the above, and I'm not going to read it to you. What you have to know is that Eric Holder, through the uh, ATF, Sold weapons to Mexican drug cartels. Why? Why did they do this? Why would the U.S. government sell weapons to drug cartels? Does anyone understand why? What was the thinking behind the Obama administration in sending such weapons to Mexico? Certainly they didn't want to kill Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. Certainly they didn't want to see hundreds of Mexican citizens uh, executed with these weapons. So what were they trying to do? What were they trying to achieve in their fast and furious gun-running scandal? I'll explain more on the Savage Nation. Who is Eric Holder? What is Eric Holder's background? Who is Eric Holder really working for? Let me read you something. I explained to you that the crash of the Chinook helicopter, in which more than 20 Navy SEALs were killed, very probably happened because the flight was sabotaged by someone in the Obama administration. I've also told you that Barack Obama and Eric Holder have not instituted an investigation of the death of those Navy, Se Navy SEALs. Instead, they're focusing on investigating our own patriots. I could go on and I will tell you that this scandal around Holder is only a very, very minor one compared to what the man is actually doing. He is one of the most dangerous attorney generals in American history. It's as though a criminal was put into the top lawyer's position. You say it can happen here. I say it has happened here. You say that it's just a, uh, a political posturing and a political season. I would say then you don't really understand what's going on.